which car do you end up testing after? Not really liking the Mercedes CLA 45 AMG and when BMW doesn't have the guts to give you an M235i. Well, of course the Audi S3 sedan. And I have to say, this is a car that I really like a lot. I won't hide my opinion here, this will be an easy review for me because from the first kilometers that I've driven with this S3 sedan, I have really enjoyed this car. So the car that I'm driving actually is European spec and the reason why I say that is while the Audi S3 sedan is not yet available in the United States, as far as I know it won't be available with this 6-speed manual. But we all know how great the Audi S-Tronic is, all the VW and Audi dual-clutch transmissions, DSGs are really great in my opinion and so it wouldn't be that exciting for me to talk about it. So I figured I would get the manual because you guys know that I love manual transmissions. Anyhow, this manual here is actually really nice to drive. It feels like any other Audi transmission to be honest with you. So it shifts very, very precise and it takes no effort at all to shift into the gears. You can use one finger if you want to. The clutch is very, very light in this car and the travel of the pedal is a little bit too long for me personally. So it takes a little bit of time to getting used to shifting really fast when you are accelerating off the line in first and second gear, but apart from that it's really nice. One problem on top of that for me is actually the pedal setup itself. There is a big gap between the brake and the gas pedal and this car has a hanging gas pedal, not a standing one like I had in the TTRS. And that gap makes it actually quite hard to rev match in this car and to heel and toe. Bit annoying for me, I have pretty big feet, shoe size 13 and still struggle a little bit with my heeling and towing in this car. So if there was something that I could change about it, it would probably be the pedals. But apart from that, this manual is a really great driving experience. is just lovely. It's a 2-liter TFSI four-cylinder engine that is turbocharged and makes 300 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque and I know on paper that doesn't sound as impressive as the big numbers that you get with the CLA 45 AMG that makes 360 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque but for some reason this car here for me feels just as fast as the CLA 45 and one of the main reasons is that this engine just has a really, really wide power band, so it feels punchy at low RPMs in a way that the CLA45 AMG didn't actually. I remember driving the CLA45 and I was like, where is the power under 3000 RPM? And this car here, it really pulls very strong from 2000 RPM and lower even. sound of this car. I'm not really that much a fan of, you know, sound editing in cars and these pops and crackles that you get in the CLA 45 AMG are quite entertaining for two days but once you drive the car for two weeks like I did it starts to get annoying when you hear it all the time and this car here just has a deep growl, a lovely sounding exhaust but it's not too much you know it's just the right amount of sound. So this car here actually has adjustable dampers and the optional Audi magnetic ride system. On this drive select button here, I can choose many different modes for the suspension in this car. And normally I'm not that much a fan of these systems because I often feel like they make the car feel a little bit artificial. I told you that in my other reviews, but in this S3 here, this system works really well. So there are five modes, dynamic, individual, efficiency, comfort, auto and dynamic. So now I'm in dynamic mode. Ah, this engine is just lovely. Minimal 
little body roll. I would say overall it's still not as sporty to drive in corners as the CLA 45. But as a daily driver and as a car that you know gives you more options when you don't want to drive as aggressive as I do now, the S3 has a big advantage over the CLA 45 which you can't get with adjustable dampers. So yeah, on the twisty road, this car is really really lovely to drive. The steering is great, has more weight in the dynamic mode, very precise. Of course you get some understeer once you exceed the limit but overall a really really lovely car to drive. So let's talk a little bit about the interior of this car here and as always Audi has given me a spec sheet with all the options on it which is really nice because many times I end up not really knowing how many options and what kind of options the car that I'm driving and testing has. So this S3 sedan here costs 40,400 euros here in Germany with the 6-speed manual transmission and it has options for another 14,000 euros on it. Not the highest number that I ever had. Last year I had the Audi R8 and that car had options for 40,000 euros. But still, the price of this car as it stands here is still 2,000 euros under the base price of a CLA 45 AMG. So let me read a few of those options that I have on this car here. First of all, there's this Misano red paint job that I have on this car, which probably doesn't come across that nice on camera, but in person it's really, really lovely and that costs 650 euros. And the wheels on this car, which are 19 inch, are 850 euros. A bigger option is the Audi design selection package, which costs 1740 euros. The assistance package on this car is actually really nice, that's 1500 euros. It gives you a blind spot warning here on the mirror, that works really really good. Other stuff, well the Audi magnetic ride system that I talked about is a 340 euro option, so I would definitely go for that. And what else do I have? The Bang & Olufsen sound system, that's 790 euros. Electric mirrors, the seats here are adjustable and have Lombard support. I have LED headlights, those are really great. And another big option on this car is the MMI navigation system with this really lovely screen here that comes out of the dashboard, is facing the driver, take notice Mercedes. And it actually has this touch sensitive pad here and you can ride on it. Works really really nice, one of the best systems on the market. And yeah, overall this is just a really nice place to be. The build quality, I know all reviewers rave about it in their Audi reviews, is just perfect in my opinion. Soft touch material here on the dashboard, the leather, the steering wheel just feels absolutely perfect. One of my favorite steering wheels I have to say. The seats could have a little bit more side support but they are really comfortable on long trips. And the back seat actually has a little bit more space than in the CLA 45. So if you are, let's say, 5 foot 9 to 6 feet, you can still sit comfortably in the back seat. And that's a big advantage over the CLA 45 AMG. So yeah, overall, quite a nice place to be. And the interior is another big plus point of this S3 sedan, in my opinion. The Audi S3 sedan is a stunning little car. It has the right size and more than enough performance. Actually, according to a test in a big German magazine, with the Astronic it was just as fast from 0 to 100 kph and from 0 to 200 kph as the stronger CLA 45 AMG. Yes, I mentioned the little Mercedes a bit too often in this video. But if I tell you that the cheaper S3 is not only more fun to drive, but also 20% more fuel efficient, you get the idea that Audi's experience with turbocharged engines is clearly paying off here. If you want more performance, wait for the new RS3 probably coming out next year, which will keep Audi's fabulous 2.5 liter 5 cylinder I tested in the TTRS that could push up to 400 horsepower. But for now, the S3 sedan is a clear winner. <laughs>